Yel Edoche took to his social media account on Saturday to upload a short video applauding the United Energy of all Nigerians against his choice of a second wife. According to him, the energy came from all over the country, from all tribes, tongues and people. He said, see what we did on Wednesday. We shook the world and are still shaking it. The energy you all applied and are still applying is unmatchable. He's then asking Nigerians to support his presidential ambition with the same energy. He's also asking them to contribute money for him to buy the nomination form. The energy is united. The energy knows no tribe, no religion, no gender. The energy is coming from the north, from the south, from the east and the west, and indeed the whole world. Once again, the energy is united. My fellow Nigerians, please, please, I appeal to you. Buy me the presidential form and together we will take back our country and fix it. Yes. My name is Yul Adoche and I'm running for president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 2023. We're now being joined by a public affairs commentator, Adeni Ikono. Good evening. No religion. Thank you for joining us on our primetime news. He goes, he goes, my name is Yul Edoche, and I'm running for the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> what do you make of that? That, 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 that sounds interesting. Uh, let me say <laughs> that um, um, you know it's been back and forth. I mm. saw when there was an announcement regarding the new baby from the second woman, mm. and I saw how social media was agog. Uh, people pontificated, even people that were actually sending messages from their sugar daddy's bedroom and their mm. boyfriend's backyard. Everybody has something to say. Forgetting the fact that um, a man that has kept his home for 17 years knows quite a lot that many others do not understand. Um, having said that, let's get on to the more serious part of this conversation. Hmm. I think that the energy we find is um, a confirmation of the strength of the social media and many millennials who are on social media. Absolutely. It is, Absolutely. Also, it is also indicative of the level of positive energy we could muster if at all there is a national issue and everybody tries to be part of it so that we can have effective change that will bring lasting solutions to the ever increasing problems of the country. Amazing. And I think that, that, is, very, and I think that, that is very fundamental here. Yeah. So I, I think that if everybody contributed 100 Naira, in less than two, three days, we could arrive at 100 million. That is if at all, I may be interested in putting some of my own money down. But of course, people like us would have to pay more than 100 Naira if at all we want to get into the business of that. But I also think that beyond this is the fact that people must learn one thing very fundamental. Everybody's marriage is their business. Somebody may put something on social media. I think it is very key for the people who have their hands clean to be the only one justified to talk about a man's decision to take a second wife. Essentially, the business of marriage is actually the concern of those persons that are in it. And I always tell people, if your relationship doesn't have anything called violence, then the world should shut up. If a man can take 15 wives and decides to be responsible towards them, I do not think there is a law in this country that says he can't do that. After all, the Anafian for you uh, was able to secure about 18 before he died. And I didn't see so much recriminations. I didn't see so much of conversations around the things he did that would have made us call him a criminal. Okay. So I think that Nigerians should also learn to mind their businesses when it comes to certain things. But important is the fact that 
Nigerians should get into the business of moving this country forward. Absolutely. Using the same level of energy, such as we heard you know, Duchess say in the video you played before this interview, so that we can bring solutions to the problem of Nigeria. Absolutely. I like your submission, Mr. Kuna. Uh, um, however, uh, let me uh, uh, bring home a point here. Uh, first and foremost, Nigerians are not particularly against his taking a second wife, but the manner in which he went about it uh, is what uh, brings a cause for concern. Like, you've been cheating on your wife, and then without having a conversation with her, uh, you just suddenly brought in a side chick and, and all that as a second wife. That's on the one side. On the other side, I agree with you that every man's marriage is their business. But once you've come on social media to put it in the public space, then it becomes everybody's business. Anyway, um, leaving that on the one side, uh, the other part is uh, with or without a second wife, with, with the manner in which he's portrayed himself in the social media space, do you think uh, well-meaning Nigerians will take him seriously? Well, let me first of all say that, uh, okay, let, let me first of all bring this to light because it is very, very important to do so. Okay. Um, when somebody is in a relationship with another woman, okay, no man has the, the, the strength of instinct that our wives have. Women are blessed with that. Highly instinctive. Women have yeah. the capacity, women have the capacity to sense something a thousand times before the reality comes to light. It therefore means that no man who has ever had a second wife, um, who didn't at some point or the other, sit somewhere, spoke with the wife, and the first wife cannot feign ignorance when we talk about a man meeting or discussing with a woman that he makes his second, his third, or his fourth wife. That is the fact of the matter. But having said that, you're talking about some businesses on social media being everybody's concern. Some people may just want to express their gratitude and just put stories on social media. They, if you don't like it, nobody's going to take you to court for that. So it could be an individual's business. Okay, yes. I, 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 let, sorry just, to cut in here. Sir, sorry to cut in here. So You see, um, no I, problem, no I, problem. I, I do agree with you that women have a lot of intuition naturally. But that still does not take the place of you having a proper conversation with your partner over a matter that's going to affect her and her children, her four children for that matter. That shows some level of, without judging, that may uh, smack to some women as disrespect. Anyway, let's move away from that. But do you then think, uh, with all this going, going on, um, do you think well-meaning Nigerians will still take him seriously? Well, as I've said, um, I, I think it's important for us to understand that the business of politics is not so much as what we we'll have to use a lot to qualify people uh, in terms of political leadership as the business of marriage. Marriage is good when it is stable. And let me say this, no matter what happens between a couple, only that couple understands the extent Absolutely. of the issue. Outsiders do not have a grasp of it. Hmm. So I, I think that some segments of Nigerians won't take him seriously because they felt that he didn't quite uh, respect the wife, even if he wanted to take another wife. But another segment of Nigerians will see him as somebody that as a man, he should be able to make a decision. Perhaps, maybe he has had the conversation with the wife early in the marriage. But 17 years can be a long time with four children to make you forget that another woman may come in the first place. And for the people who have read Chinua Achebe's Arrows of Arrow of God, uh, uh, the Chinua Achebe's Arrow of God, you find out that perhaps uh, on a jocular note now, at some point, uh, don't forget that Okonko himself took more than a wife. And in, in one of that period, we learned that Okonko was saying that when one of his wives become water, definitely another wife will take his place. That's actually what Okonko said. So perhaps uh, Yuli Duce, on a lighter note, is actually an ardent follower of Chino Achibe's series, 
beginning with arrow of God. And of course, it's also a reflection of the ego society. So let's also say something that is very important. We have fictive literature. We have fictive narrative. We could also have faction. So I need you to also understand that the history of the ego has actually recorded in the literary work of Diogidi talking about Shinu Achebe. It's a reflection of what the ego society considers hundreds of years before the current Western civilization. I see. So I need us to also understand at the same time that for many people who believe we live in 2022, if you really have studied the ego way of doing things and the nature of their bride price, the statements you often make by being able to foot the bill of your marriage, do the ibanku and the rest simply means you have the power to possess the woman head to toe. Hmm. And by extension, you have all the rights to do what you have to do violence out of it i must emphasize it okay then so now that's a that good place to come of the ego culture that many people should also talk about where when a man pays all the money and bring all these 60 tubers of yam he owns the woman head to toe so that's <laughs> also important okay i see I, I see where you're coming from now okay then uh now looking at all this let's now put all this side by side with his presidential ambition uh to the court okay yes uh I, I never saw this coming. Did you? Well, I, I know that um, there's going to be a likelihood of leveraging what some people have done uh, in Anambra State. Don't forget that in the entire Southeast region, the, region, the state of Anambra has always had a history yeah. of fierce contest when it comes to gubernatorial election. Um, and I, I, I think that I really have to expect something of that nature from Nollywood, considering the fact that uh, Yunidoche is actually cut from a cloth that is very respectable and very popular as far as this country is concerned. So perhaps it feels, let me excel in areas where my father never dared to tread, hmm. and he has to actually do more than his father had done. As much as I never expected that, I, I just believe that we cannot circumscribe you the right that the Constitution Section 6, Section 44, Section 66 actually has a shrine, its right to associate, its right to vote and be voted for. So I think it is taking advantage of its fundamental human right and being able to participate in an election uh, where many Nigerians have, of course, been calling for youth representation. Then it's trying to also leverage the popularity that the Nollywood... Um, uh, platform has given him. And That's uh, right. don't forget that the United States of America has one produced a president who was in Hollywood with the person of Ronald Reagan. Mm -hmm. So I think that people should understand that it is not going to be novel in political history to have somebody come from the entertainment industry into politics. Do not also forget, we have the likes of uh, uh, Shevchenko, former Ukrainian footballer mm -hmm. that at once tried to become a a huge political figure. We have the Klitschko family, a very popular boxer who is even the mayor of Kiev yeah. in Ukraine as we speak. So I think that the entertainment circle can also produce people that are very intelligent. And um, I think that uh, despite the fact that we're discontinuous what he has done with regard to taking another woman with her first of all, ironing it out with his wife, we cannot also take away the fact that it could have certain capacities that many of us have not seen politically. So let us try to allow them manage their home affairs so that we can help look at what he has to offer politically. After all said and done, Nigerians will be the ones to decide whether they will buy the form. And if he gets the form, he has to cross the hurdle of being an aspirant to a candidate, then Nigerians will eventually decide whether it's their choice for the presidency. Amazing. Amazing submission from you tonight. Um, I must thank you very much for coming to reach our bulletin tonight. Uh, uh, well, at this point, I think it should be a, a good idea to, to bring yeah. Yul Edoche himself on our news at one point uh, sometime soon. Uh, 
uh, to ask him what is, what, is, what is bringing to yes. the table. We need to know what he's bringing to the table. In, in any case, he has yeah. not mentioned any political party he's running on. He has not told us if he wants to be an independent candidate. He has not told us mm -hmm. uh, his plans, his, uh, well, what, is, what he hopes to, uh, to achieve when he becomes a president. So at, at, at the first sight, when I first saw the video, I honestly thought it was just kidding, like just wanted to distract Nigerians from the mm. present issue of his marriage. That's what I thought. So what, what do you, what do you, I mean, I, I don't even know how to put this question to you. That's what I'm saying. Maybe we should bring him on the show uh, to, to talk to him because uh, is he hoping to run as, a, as an independent? Okay, let me just ask you, what, what uh, do you see as fortunes for him if he decides to run as an independent candidate? Well, in the first place, let me say that at the last, at the last amendment, um, independent candidacy did not fly through. It was struck out. Oh. Many Nigerians even think that independent candidacy was part of the, energy the is last energy. amendment permitted. So Yule Deche cannot run as an independent candidate because it wasn't part of what was approved for amendments. Oh. So the Electoral Act, whatever it is that is being done with the Constitution, that didn't fly. Huh. But don't forget that we have a lot more parties. Perhaps the most popular party in Anambra State is APGA. APGA. And APGA may provide it the platform because I've actually not seen any strong personality coming from APGA. Don't forget that um, the APC said it's 100 million. The PDP told us this is 40 million. The SDP said it's 16 million. Maybe the form for Abda will be five million, and it may be easy for people to buy the form for him. So you never can tell. Uh, we also have other parties. We have the African Democratic Congress, and many other parties whose form may not be as expensive as that of the APC and the PDP. But it is important for you, Ledoche, to understand that immediately primaries are done with. Don't forget, PDP would have their primaries 20th to 29th of May. APC will have theirs 30th to 31st. So I think that after that time, we will not be talking about any major primaries by anybody. So you, the Doche, has to make a decision quickly so that Nigerians can know how much they want to contribute for him. But importantly, is to find a way to squeeze you, the Doche, into the studio as well. Because apart from his good looks and capacity, you can't take away intelligence from you, the Doche, because you don't rise to the top of your career in Hollywood if you are not brilliant, if you are not intelligent. And do not also forget that one of the things people look at is the appeal of candidacy. For instance, there are people who may not appear on TV forever because they may be intelligent, but their face may scare people off. So <laughs> you the country has a lot of pluses for him. He has the looks, he has the intelligence. He also has the voice. The soft voice are things that you often have to look at. There is a young man. And at times when you shoot for the moon, you can get the stars, or you shoot for the stars, you can get the moon. So it could even mean that for you, Le Dossier, if he tries to go for the presidency and doesn't get it, he may eventually be given the privilege of maybe the candidacy as a vice president or maybe as a lawmaker at some point or the or, other. Or a minister. Perhaps, it, 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 yes, because his bargaining chip is also very important. Yes. Thank you. So Thank for you. somebody to have commanded such followership in Hollywood, it is a huge positive it brings together. So let's look away from his marital challenges and see how much he's able to put together on the political platform. That's where I stand at the matter. Thank you. Mr. Akuno, I think Yuno Doce needs to hire you as his uh, campaign director. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.